Okay, so you're trying to use Comfy UI, but you have a 10 series NVIDIA GPU. Now, your experience is going to be really quite bad because a lot of the basic checkpoints that you will use when using Comfy UI are FP16. That means all the weights are stored as 16-bit floating points. Now, 10 series graphics cards don't support that natively. They support FP32, a 32-bit floating point and that's a very common format even in cpus but it's only recently nvidia have been producing graphics cards that will natively support 16-bit floating points and 8-bit floating points and even 4-bit floating points the lower number means that the model will take up less memory they will also be faster to run but at the expense of quality and actually the quality difference isn't really that noticeable so you will find very advanced models using fp4 but then you're going to need the absolute highest end graphics card to support that at this moment in time in history 2025 okay so i've got some more information on this page there's a link in the description so it's describing fp16 the most common model that you're going to see when learning comfy ui is the stable diffusion version 1.5 pruned ema only so it's quite optimized and that is a 2.13 gigabyte download whereas the fp32 version is a 4.27 gigabyte download so they're basically the same models but just try to imagine that your model was fp32 every single weight will be using up that many bits there so single precision if your model was fp16 every weight will be using that many bits so so that's why the FP16 is half the size. It's got all the same weights, it's just half the size. So if you have a 10 series GPU, they don't natively support FP16 acceleration, so they need to emulate FP16. So FP16 models will still work on a 10 series GPU, but they are very slow. And the reason for that is because the 10 series don't have tensor cores, which are specialized hardware units designed to accelerate FP16 operations. So we have some options. If you have a GTX 1050 with that much VRAM, you're probably not going to be able to get the FP32 version of this model to load because it takes up 4.27 gigabytes. GTX 1060 with 3 gigabytes VRAM, still going to have the same problem. Now, GTX 1060, it could work. You'll have to try it out. I haven't tested this myself. So if you download the FP32 version of Stable Diffusion 1.5, here it says, as we already know, the FP16 version will use less memory, but apparently there's no difference in speed. If you're seeing something different, then leave a comment and then we can get some idea from that. 1070 with 8 gigabytes of VRAM can run FP32 more comfortably, but not expected to improve speed. Once again, we need to try this out. I haven't tried this. A GTX 1080, 8 gigabytes, similar situation and a GTX 1080 Ti with 11 gigabytes of VRAM saying that FP16 likely slower. So in only really one case does using the FP32 version with a GTX 10 series mean better performance. But I haven't actually tried these things myself. The only 10 series graphics card I've got is a GTX 1050 Ti. And I haven't actually checked how much VRAM it's got, but it's probably got two gigabytes because it's actually inside a laptop. But if you have a 10 series GPU and you're trying to use comfy UI, it's just going to be very slow and you may have to consider upgrading to a better graphics card if you want to produce images on your local computer. So having said all that, if you want to download the FP32 version, I have some links here. So this one here, this is the FP32 version and you can download that from Hugging Face. Okay, 4.27 gigabytes. There is a download option. Now, if you just click that, you can start to download. I'm just going to fast forward the video to the point where it is downloaded. Okay, so it's in my downloads folder. That's the file there for more than four gigabytes. So copy that or cut that and take it to the place where you've installed Comfy UI. I have a specific dedicated disk for that purpose. So Comfy UI down to models and then checkpoints and then paste your checkpoint there. Okay, in my checkpoints folder, I have the FP16 version and the FP32 version. So in Comfy UI, I'm not going to actually see that written in this drop down just yet until I press edit and then do refresh no definitions. Okay, now if I use the drop down, the FP32 version is there. I can select it and try out a generation. Run. And I have a good graphics card, so it's actually quite fast. And there we go. There's a new random image of some galaxy bottles. 
using the FP32 version of Stable Diffusion 1.5. Okay, so if you are trying this FP32 version of Stable Diffusion 1.5 and you're seeing different performance than what I've written here, let me know in the comments and I will update this table on this website. And there's a link to this website in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and share.